time now to pick up right where we left off and continue with these examples. So, in example 3, 15 year bond, $100 face value, semi-annual coupons, 5% coupon rate, 7% yield to maturity, and in this one, without doing any calculations, answer the following and explain your answer. So this is really testing how well you actually understand everything that's going on here. Sure, you can chuck some numbers into a formula, but you've got to actually really understand why things work out the way they do. So, first part, compare the price and the face value of this bond. So you can't go calculating, just take a look. If we want to compare the price and the face value, what are the two things we can compare that will give us some information about that? That is, the coupon rate and the yield to maturity. Now, we see that the coupon rate is less than the yield to maturity, and what that tells us is that the price is less than the face value. So our answer to the first part is price less than face value. But the most important part of the question is, and explain your answer. So why is it that coupon rate being less than the yield to maturity tells us that the price is less than the face value? And so to answer that, 